Okay, in this video, we're going to show something very special. Here is a not well lit micro cassette recorder by Olympus. This dark recorder is model SD, the Pearl Quarter SD D system. And there's the top shot. Side shot, other side shot, bottom shot, and last but not least, back shot. And after the last one, making it not actually the last after all, the bat shot, the batteries. And with the genius cover where, oh, I can't lose this battery cover even if I want to. So, yeah. Okay. You might be thinking, oh yeah, it's a micro cassette recorder, which I haven't showed any of its operation yet, and you're now annoyed, but, and, but what are these other two things? What's well, got an antenna? <laughs> it's a little FM radio tuner. Oh, look at it. That screws it onto the bottom of the recorder. That adjusts the radio stations. There's the contacts to contact onto the recorder. There's the nice antenna. And what's this other piece, you might ask? It only has three contacts. It's a little voice activator thingy. It's very nice with low, medium, and high sensitivity for it to activate the recorder at the sound of your voice. Now this recorder, amazingly enough, still works with its original belt. The only downside being the original belt isn't perfect, so there is flutter in the sound. But it is able to play, rewind, and fast forward, and record just fine. Also, I had to spray the record place, which was WD-40, and after doing that, it cleared up squealing and not recording sometimes that it had before. But now, after spraying the switch, it records properly every single time. So let's make a recording on it. Did I already mention this recorder is from 1977? Oh, I didn't know it could stand up. It has to balance, because it wouldn't be easy to stand this thing up. Because look at the bottom of it. But anyway, I'm using the built-in microphone for this recorder. See, the microphone jack and earphone jack don't have 1 8th inch plugs, but 1 16th inch plugs. But this is a very nice recorder. I have to press record and play at the same time. Let's see how this sounds. Rewind, you hold that down. To fast forward, you... Go forward like that. It's because it wouldn't be easy to stand this thing up. Just look at the bottom of it. But anyway, I'm using the built-in microphone for this recorder. So the microphone jack and earphone jack don't have 1 8 inch plugs, but 1 16 inch plugs. But this is a very nice recorder. I to press record and play at the same time. Let's see how this sounds. It's amazing. This recorder is extremely well made and made to last. Um, the head is a ferrite head also. Let me pause real quick. I want to put on the radio module. Matter of fact, I want to show it being put on since I can put the camera down like that. I'll just kind of show it. It's going to be, you know, not the best way of showing it. It's going to be more of a waste of time than it is a, uh, Good use of time I'm trying to. There. Okay. Let's get the antenna up. Isn't that awesome? 
Okay, now to use it as just playing a rate, as just hearing the radio. I know Sam and Clinton wouldn't like this feature. You know, the little radio add-on module, something that Sam and Clinton would be annoyed by. But pause it, put it on play, to turn it on, turn the tape recorder on, then turn the radio on. A violent confrontation is taking place along the Syrian border with the Israeli occupied. If you hear news, it's always going to be bad news about crazy stuff going on in the world, people dying and stuff. You know, you never hear anything good. So let's change the station. I'm trying to do it all with one hand. I want to record this now. When it's recording the radio, the sound is a lot quieter. I'm recording this weather alert. Well, now it's going. I don't like this kind of music, so I want to change it. Oh, there's not that copyright stuff in there. Classic. I'm not a sports guy, but it is classic to record this. It's a good showing of voice recording quality, stuff like that. The FM Tuner DRA2. Okay, let's turn off the little radio. Let's put the little antenna back up. Let's pause this first. Let's the pressure plug at the same time. Let's see how this sounds. There's mountain. Goose up in the mountain. Fast forward. Press rewind, never mind, this is fast forward. Runners at second and third with nobody out. McCann grounds it foul outside third to stay alive at the plate. This is a spot where if you're McCann, the thing you do not want to do is strike out. You want to put the ball in play above all other things here. James trying to protect the plate with an 0-2 count. The Cachello over in the on-deck circle. Bigham's the runner at third. Carver's the man at second. We're in the fifth. The Hogs trying to break it open. Okay. Trivia. Did you know that back in 1977 this recorder cost over $200? Okay, now I've docked the recorder to the voice activator, DVA-1. Smell light? No, it's not. Okay. Now I'm uh, switched hands. Maybe I can operate this thing better. Okay, let's see. Let's to turn the pause on so it will pause the tape. I think that is where you can do it by voice voice activating. Put it in record. My thing no tape motion. Testing! I'm now recording. I start speaking up to the recorder and it starts up. It's turned off and it's not sensitive enough to pick my voice up. How about a shout? Hi! See? There it goes. I'll set it up to medium. Now it's set to medium. Now it's picking up my voice at this regular speaking level at about a foot or so away from the recorder. Foot to high. Whisper didn't do it, but my voice speaking here did.
this is a very nice recorder. I don't have to speak very loud for it to start it up. Let's see how this is. Truly a very nice tape recorder. You know one unusual an un, un, one unusual thing about this micro cassette recorder is you know most micro cassette recorders are two speed with one point two and two point four centimeters a second. This one only has just the two point four, the faster speed. The slower ones just, you know, too low quality. They didn't bother to put that speed on this recorder. But it's if you're to you know, push these buttons like if you were to be able to push these buttons, you know, they, they feel real solid. Like, the quality is just, it's really sturdy. It's amazing. When I first pushed these buttons, uh, looking at this recorder at the estate sale, I was just marveled. I just marveled about, like, the well buildness of it. For being a micro-cassette machine, how, like, sturdy the buttons were and everything. And then whenever I put batteries in, whenever I got home and tested it out and the thing was still managing to work I was like I couldn't believe it I, I was so sure the belt was going to be so loose that it was not going to be able to turn well at all 